Chapter 17 Louis Pasteur Mary had just returned from her school. She was thirsty. Mary, you can have a glass of milk, called her mother. Mary went into the dining hall. She took out a glass of milk and about to drink. Suddenly, she cried out, Mommy, the milk is spoiled. Her mother came in. Let me see. Yes, the milk is spoiled. Her mother said. She took out a sachet from the cupboard. See, Mary, the milk in the sachet is all right, she said. Mary wondered why the milk got from the milk vendor in the morning got spoiled. But the sachet got from the supermarket was still good. Why is it so? She asked her mother. Her mother explained. The milk in the sachet is pasteurized. But the milk got from the milk vendor is not pasteurized one. What is the meaning of pasteurized? Mary asked. Pasteurizing is a scientific method. Fresh milk is boiled to a high degree. Then it is cooled rapidly. In this process the germs in the milk get killed. This was first done by Louis Pasteur. So his name is given to this process. Who is Louis Pasteur? Louis Pasteur is considered to be the greatest scientist of France. He was born in 1822 in a town in France. His parents were not rich, but they gave him a good education. He secured a degree in science. His marks in chemistry were not high, but his interest in the subject made him continue his studies in chemistry. In course of time, he became a chemist. He spent a lot of time in the laboratory examining the germs. One day, as he was busy in the laboratory, his professor came in. You are wasting your time. They are useless to man. He said. But Pasteur replied. Sir, the germs cause sickness. I must find out which germs cause which disease. Where do germs come from? Asked his professor. Sir, that I must find out. Replied Pasteur. And Pasteur found out after a long and patient work. The germs are present everywhere in water, in the soil, in dust and even in the air we breathe. These germs turn milk sour. Milk is a carrier of germs. These germs can cause diseases like tuberculosis and typhoid. He made many experiments. Finally, he found out the method to kill the germs in the milk. Pasteur did not stop with milk. He continued his research. Anthrax, diphtheria and rabies were terrible diseases. Pasteur found out certain vaccines. These vaccines can prevent and cure these terrible diseases. One day, a mother brought her son, Joseph, to pasture. Joseph had been bitten by a mad dog. There were 14 wounds all over his body. The dog had rabies. Everyone felt sorry for the boy. They said, The child is sure to die. Even pasture had no hopes. But he had decided to save the boy. Pasture had prepared a serum from a rabbit. The rabbit had died of rabies. He injected the serum into the boy's body. At first, small quantities. Slowly, he increased the dose. On the ninth day, Zozov showed improvement. He was out of danger. 
in three months' time, Joseph walked out of the hospital. He then became a perfectly healthy child. The year was 1885. Before that, many had been bitten by mad dogs, but no one had escaped death. Since 1885, thousands of lives have been saved by anti-rabies treatment. The world is thankful to Louis Pasteur.